here I want to create a thread uh, on a circular cylinder or rod. So what I do, I start with uh, making extrude uh, from a circle. So the sizes I just uh, use the, uh, some kind of almost arbitrary sizes. Uh, say 10 here. Then I make a, <coughs> a rod out of that. I go perpendicular to the same view. Make a tinier circle. Later I will use. Uh, I will show you how this uh, tinier circle or why do I create it. So I make it just uh, one millimeter s uh, smaller than on the previous one, radius wise. And just so I have it here. Now the next step is I, I have to create my spiral path. So what I do, I just go to the here, click on helix and spiral. It, uh, the second option it says point and or select sketch that contains a circle. So I select this one. Now I can play with the number of revolutions and of course the size of the pitch. So say two here. That's how I can play with it, and I can actually reverse the uh, direction using this option. As you can see I have cho uh, I choose the um, 10 revolution with a uh, pitch a distance between them equal to 2 millimeter. As you can see the start angle here is 0. I can play with that one but I know 0 is uh, the same as the plane so I just made it 0. It's the same as the plane that is parallel to exit. So I mean top plane. Uh, look perpendicular to the top plane. So what I do here now I go and create a polygon and say because my grooves are v-shape the threaded are v-shape so I use uh, three sides in order to make a triangle and I start from here end to this point and this is what I have made. Make sure that uh, <coughs> this side is less than this pitch. So the, the size of the pitch, if you remember, was 2 millimeter. And this side, as you can see with eyes, it actually can pass. It passes from this uh, part of the body and is smaller than this pitch. So you can now create a sweep cut. So what I do, just go out. Make it in a view that's more clear. Now I go to here and click on Swipe Cut. So it says, which profile do you want to swipe? I say, okay, this profile, sketch three along this path. As soon as I select it, now I have created this one. Of course, by changing the shape of the polygon. I can actually change the pattern that I see in this threaded uh, start. So I go to swap cut, look perpendicular to the profile and make changes to this one. Here you can see if we play with the helix pitch, now we can play with this gap, the flat gap between two consecutive uh, threads. So what I do, I just go and change this uh, this one to change the pitch from 2 say to 1.8 and you will see that uh, now we have a smaller gap here I can continue this and change it to say 1.4 and you will see this distance become thinner and th thinner until it reaches to a value that now it reduces from this size here from the outer side so say for example 1.1 now what you see here is actually it's cutting part of the outer uh, diameter so that the diameter that you might see here is less than the diameter that you might have it here just bear in mind that in this uh, video I just showed how we can uh, 
generally play and create this kind of threads of course if you have to follow certain uh, size and dimension it's gonna take uh, a longer time to create and make sure how your profile looks like and how what is the exact value of the uh, uh, thread and thread pitch thank you